Hey guys, today's episode is brought to you by We The People Holsters. We love their apparel, we love their holsters, we are the Tennessee Pickers, and we do approve this message. Hey guys, Chris and Dave out on the range with you here on a beautiful Saturday morning. How you doing this morning, Dave? I'm good, how are you, man? Good to be with you, my friend. Good to see you Absolutely. Today is brought to you by Leopold Performance Eyewear. And uh, we've got Dave's 10 millimeter, his 2.0 here, uh, Smith & Wesson m and And man, what a gun, I tell you what. We are clear here, just want to let you know. Uh, guys, Just this is my first impression with this gun. The first time I've ever been able to hold one or handle one. And uh, to point out just a couple of things here, like Dave was saying, the suppressor height sights are just awesome to look through. The grip texture here is sandpaper-like, and I really like it. And this gun feels really good in my hand, Dave. It does. It really does. And the trigger on this guy is just amazing. About a, a four pound, maybe. Four uh, pound or under, yeah. Just super crisp and super nice, Dave. What's your What's your favorite thing about it so far before we shoot it? My favorite thing about four, like Chris mentioned before, is the sandpaper-like texture. Mm -hmm. It feels rough in your hand, but when you start to shoot it, it really locks it in, helps you manage the recoil. Turns out to be shooting like comparably like a 40 instead of a 10 it really feels like yeah it's good shit to go and i like the front and rear lacerations and the suppressor hot sights are nice nice clear sight picture yeah these are still by the way they're not cheap plastic that's nice dave mm -hmm. and the flat face trigger is really nice too they got rid of that hinge like in the older models oh what a trigger on this gun what a trigger dave i guarantee you that's, that's that can't be more than about four pounds yeah, it's just a, a little yeah. bit of take up. You're at the wall. It breaks. There's your reset. Nice reset. So Dave brought up a couple of good points here. He's been going around the internet and checking out, doing some research on his gun. And um, some of the points he was bringing up to me just a little while ago was the heavier loads and whether or not they'll cycle through the M&P 10 millimeter. Dave, what's your thoughts there? Yeah, there's been some reports, uh, some YouTube videos, matter of fact, and some uh, you know forum posts that it. it has problems feeding the heavier loads. So we're gonna put that to the test today. Absolutely. So far mine's been flawless, but we're gonna put some uh, hard cast Underwood, 200, 200 grainers, some 180 grain uh, buffalo bore through it, see Excellent. what happens. Awesome, awesome. Dave, are you ready? You know what You know what to say, don't yeah, you? I think we should shoot this thing. Let's shoot this thing. Shoot it 200 grain Underwood hard nose. Let's see how it feeds. Did you shoot that thing, Dave? Shoot that thing. Hey guys, Chris here with the Tennessee Pickers. I'm out here with Dave on the range today. We've got the Smith & Wesson M&P 2.0 10 millimeter. This is just an awesome beast right here. And today I've got some Buffalo Bore 180 grain hollow point. We're trying to answer the question, will these feed through this gun? Will the heavier rounds feed through the M&P 2.0? Isn't that right, Dave? That's right. All right, guys, so we're gonna shoot a magazine here. I've got, got about nine rounds loaded up and we're gonna see what she'll do. Let's shoot this thing. First time ever shooting one, so I'm real excited. Oh, look at here. So, we have got a uh, failure to return to battery here. So we're gonna go ahead and drop our mag and clear this out. Dave, what do you think, man? Have you had any problems with this gun before? Not till now. So when I drop the magazine out, it chambered, but I'm gonna go ahead and clear it just to be on the safe side, and we'll keep shooting here. And we've got another one. Oh, well, now we're empty, so we're clear. So I tell you what, uh, run off the bat, the magazine drops out nice and quick, I'll tell you that for sure. Um, this gun feels good in the hand. This is really a good feeling gun. All right, so we'll put a few more through this gun and see what happens. So 
Well, that is a big kick. I hung on to her that time. We had no problems whatsoever. I'm gonna say, that, and uh, this is a great gun, Dave. It's great. This gun. thing shoots good. Man, I mean, it's right really on well. the money. And man, it's a blast in your hand, I'll tell you that. Smith & Wesson sure M&P in 10 millimeter. We're gonna put a few rounds down range. Here we go. shooting gun now that was cellar and below 180 grain full metal jackets uh, no failures to feed no problems whatsoever and this gun sm shoots smooth as glass even uh, it's very manageable even in more of a rapid fire uh, a faster fire sequence I found this gun to be very pleasant to shoot wonderful trigger uh, feels great in the hand guys this is a wonderful gun I like this gun a lot you see we're clear and uh, this is a wonderful Smith & Wesson here. Hey guys, Chris and Dave here on the range with you today uh, talking about the Smith 10 millimeter 2.0. What a heck of a gun, guys. Today's episode, by the way, is brought to you by Lupo Performance Eyewear. Lupo, we appreciate you in sending us these shooting glasses. We appreciate them and we absolutely love them. We do approve. So Dave, what's your thoughts after shooting this 10 millimeter today? What's your what's your favorite stuff about it? Tell me uh, your top couple of features that you like. I would say, first of all, the it has a sandpaper-like texture. It really locks the gun in during recoil, makes it a lot more manageable. I love these suppressor height sights because this gun mm -hmm. is also optic ready. So if you put the red dot on there, you already have the height in the sights to perfectly co-witness your Absolutely. firearm. And also this flat face trigger, it's just incredible. I'd say the trigger weighs probably about four pounds. Yes. You have a little bit of take up. It's in a safe direction. It is unloaded. Have a little bit of take up. Boom, you're at the wall. There's your trigger. There's your reset. Just incredible. What do you Very think, nice. Chris? Man, I tell you what. Uh, this gun right here really impressed me today. We are clear. Um, what I like about this right off the bat more than anything is the slimline frame that this gun has for a 10 millimeter. When you look at or hold a Glock 20 in your hand, it's just a beefy, it's a wide frame. Look how nice and thin this one here is uh, compared. But one thing that really got me, aside from this wonderful trigger at about four pounds, is how well this gun points and how well this gun shoots in your hand. Uh, when I shot this gun in a more rapid fashion just a little while ago, I found the recoil to be very manageable, very easy to control, very easy to stay on your target. And that partly is because this gun just ergonomically fits your hand. It just feels like an extension of your own arm when you're pointing at the target. Dave, I really appreciate you bringing this gun out today. Uh, guys, those are our top likes about the gun. Appreciate you watching today. We're the Tennessee Pickers. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to all notifications. We appreciate you today. Dave, good shooting with you, brother. Good shooting with you, man. All right, y'all take care. Look around, here's what I found. I guess you never know what we'll see on the Tennessee Pickers Show. Yeehaw.